I got my first cast back in, baby, and I caught my limit fish. Let's see if we can do a monster catch and release. Oh, my stick ain't as nice as yours, really. But it's a stick of fish. Fish needs. It is so delicious, man. Honestly, fried salt and pepper and butter, and that's it, man. Well, you just gut them and fry them that way? Yeah, skin yeah and just all. cut the head off, cut from the poop hole up to it, and scrape that out. You gotta use your thumbnail to scrape the back, because it's black there. You gotta make sure you don't see no black left, because that, that's the poop, right? In which case, I'll make another little video out of the explanation how to clean little trouts. Hey, what's up, CFN Fish Off? My name is Bill White from teammilesapart.ca. I use a Frogbill expandable bump board, and my bump board starts at five inches. I have got my lines marked out with black marker at the inch and the half inch marks. This morning when we went out, didn't have much intentions of keeping any, but uh, as soon as we hooked into them nice little 8-10 inch trouts, Trev went and grabbed a stick, helped me make a stringer, and I got my five fish combined limit. It's beautiful, look at that. It is just over 7 inches. But it's eight and a half inches, baby. It's a little bit bigger. Nine inches. This thing is beautiful. Take my Arapala knife. Just gonna go right behind the fin, behind the head. Now what you do is you take your knife and you go from the butthole. Right how about my knife is a little sharper, I suppose. Take your thumb, push all that out. Take your thumb, you want to get that black line there. That entire black line has to come out, okay? That's poo. You don't want to eat that. It's not good for you at all. But you take your thumb and you just run it down. Boom. It's out. And you wash it quick. You don't want none of that black stuff left in there whatsoever. What you're left with is beautiful, clean meat. I just go behind the fin, cut the head right off. Take your knife in the butthole. Cut right up the center.
Got to make sure you get all the stomach lining out. All that black. All that black in there must come out. So what you're left with again, nice, clean insides. No stomach lining, no poo. Knife in the butthole. Nice slice. I mean, I've been there, huh? Nice little one all cleaned out, baby. <laughs> yeah, most of that came out just using my thumb. Mm -hmm. You can hold it by the inside of the butthole. Stick your thumb in, right down the spine. And you just run your thumb down. See, that comes out. During this COVID-19 pandemic thing, I like to socially isolate by going out to the river, you know? I can catch myself dinner, well, lunch now. This is the most beautiful one out of them all. And they're all natural, they all got their own things. Fresh out of Lake Ontario. If you like this video, baby, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll do some more catch, cook, Keep clean videos if I'm able to find fresh fish that is you put your thumb in right here in the bum and take your other thumb nail it'll help if it's a little longer and you put it right down to the spine you run your finger along the spine and push the innards out uh, stomach on me. Poo. You want to make sure all that black comes out. You don't want that in your meat. You don't want that in your stomach. Clean it out under the water. Nice and clean in there, baby. Nice and clean. Woo! Baby, welcome back to a new kayak and outdoorsman video. Got my frying pan, got my trout, I got some butter over here in the corner. I'm gonna cut up an onion and we're gonna make some trout, baby. I caught this bad boy, these five bad boys, this morning. Going to quickly Rinse out my frying pan. Going to get that burner nice and hot, baby. Nice and hot. If you're new here, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. If you're one of my close to 200 subscribers, baby, much love. Thanks for hanging on. I'm going to keep getting out and doing a bunch of crazy fishing trips here in southern Ontario. I don't need too much onion.
Even what I've done might just be a little bit too much, but you never know. Butter, baby. Real butter. Lots of butter, baby. Onions, baby. Butter and onions. Yeah, it was quite the interesting morning. When we first got there, we walked past a bunch of people. And they were in a bunch of the good holes in this creek that we go to. And uh, they're all center pin fishing. Them pinhead guys, they're out there chasing the giants. But, uh, me and Trev went out there and we caught around 20. Anyways, I don't know if the video took, but I chopped up just over a quarter of an onion. And I got like a quarter stick of butter. And these are all my trouts that me and my homeboy Trevor caught this morning. turn out so yummy guys. these are gonna turn out so delicious anyways if you're new here smash that like button smash that subscribe button I'll do my best to jump out here into some of my southern Ontario tributaries smack out some trouts whatever I can get baby if you're one of my 200 subscribers one of my near 200 subscribers much love thanks for hanging on baby I'm going to put out a little bit more quality content. Man, these are almost done. These are almost done. The trout is just falling right apart, baby. Mm. Oh, look at that. You can just pick it right off the bones. Oh, it looks so good. So delicious. I'm going to have to get a plate out. Doesn't that look so good? Doesn't that just look? Mm. Too bad GoPros don't have smell of vision. Man, man, oh man, I am just ecstatic about this morning. Got my plate, my spatula. Look at that. Look at that, baby. <clears throat> Gotta get a fork. I must get a fork. I'm gonna have to try this. What do I wanna try first? There's my little brown. This is my little brown trout right here. Look at that, man. Fresh brown trout. Caught from Lake Ontario. Now, yes, there is tiny little bones, I realize. But I mean, they're small. Mm. 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 Damn, guys. Mm, trout and onions, baby. Trout and onions. A little more of that brown trout. Mm. Skin comes right off. Goes right off. Fresh, wild Lake Ontario brown trout, baby. Might have a couple little ribs, but... Mm. Well, I gotta cook it and eat it. On film. No, Daddy's not crazy. Daddy is hungry. 
Daddy spent time catching his dinner. Just flakes right out of the ribs, baby. Mm. Falls right off. Fresh fish and onion. Just peels right off. Look at that. Yumminess. Here comes Timmy! Gonna have to get Unc try some of this oh. wild trout that I just I don't care if you're in your underwear bro nobody else cares they'll smash the like Not button in my underwear smash that subscribe button here check this out I'm a nice piece of junk back chunk it's fresh caught today no ribs in the top I know I've seen your post how's it done that's good man I got a brown trout rainbow trout brook trout oh, if they were all good. <laughs> yeah! Lindsay sees him, he starts drowning. Right? That's good. And when it comes to the top half, you can stick your finger right in and just pull that right back and that whole chunk will come, no bones. Look at you. Guy goes out and catches beautiful fish like this. And then when Ooh. it comes to the bottom half, you just gotta slightly separate it from the ribs. Yeah. Like that, without breaking them. But it just slides right out. Yeah. Oh, I missed one, I broke one right in. So than I do. And then, oh, 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 not a big fan of the skin. No. What? No, I'm not. Yeah, baby, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Fresh caught Lake Ontario trout. See how I did it? Mm hmm. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> and there's some onions underneath, too, if you want to. I've eaten a few fish in my time. There's some onions there if you want to. 